All right, so we are going to do a backup of a Yaskawa DX200 robot from the Teach Pendant. We're gonna start off by just being here in the Teach Pendant. We're gonna hit this next button right here. So this takes you to the next menu system. We're gonna hit this memory button. We're gonna hit the save button. Uh, before we go to this memory button, the save button though, we have to go to device and verify this says uh, USB pendant. Also, here is the USB pendant on the back of the uh, Teach Pendant. There's also another port right here for a compact flash, which I don't know anybody in this world that's still using compact flash. So you can see there's PC control flash for the pendant, FTP, USB one on the controller, USB two on the controller. I personally haven't done a backup from the controller side, but it might be these four, this slot right here, potentially the CN14, uh, 114, or it might be the CN106. Back to the memory button right here, save. And then, so jobs are gonna be one of your most important thing. Jobs are gonna be like your actual programs. I'll say robot programs, whereas like some of this other stuff will be more like background stuff, like IO data. These are just gonna be your actual programs. So they're gonna be kind of the, one of the most important things and one of the things that need to be saved the most frequently. Come off of here, save. One other thing you need to know from here, uh, I personally save these in their own folder. So I'll save to this memory card, take it to computer, drag all the files from the uh, memory card into a folder that I name job so i'll hit select there hit edit select all it'll say select all you need to come down here to this enter button down here hit enter it'll say do you want to save hit your arrow button right here to say yes so now you're highlighted over yes i think you hit the enter button or the select button doesn't matter select and then boom you should see this screen right here if it is backing up appropriately now I'm just kind of making this as like a, a quick raw little video here and I'll show you, uh, I'll go ahead and take this out and I'll show you what I'm doing on the computer side as well. Oh my gosh. Oh. So coming over here to the computer side, just plug into my hub. Oh. All right, so now you can see here from the computer how it just drops uh, right onto here. And so I don't like the organization of this. I have to go get the S number of this robot. So I'm just gonna use this one uh, that I just cre created just now. Rename, this will be cell 1610. This is just what the cell's name is. And then this number is like if a FANUC robot, this will be your F number, it's your serial number or whatever. Here's your serial number. And then we always say by year, month, day. So these are all the jobs that I just copied. Go down here. Get a job. Okay, I'm gonna go back one. So notice here, I already have all the file structures here. If I click into them, you'll see there's nothing here yet because I haven't went and done that backup, but I just did the job backup. So I just like to keep the different file types uh, stored separately. Like when we save like future backups, when it's like a non-initial backup, then we might just save job only and not worry about these other file types. But whenever we come on site, we always grab all file types so that way uh, we just have the backups if we need to uh, back up the robot in case of like a critical error or something like that. So I'll go through and I'll grab all the different backups that are there uh, using the same method that I did. And I'll come over here every time I do a backup and organize them on the controller. So there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully now you know how to back up the Yathkawa robot. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below for more robot content like this. That's all.